special, special feeling to win the tournament without losing a game. So as much as you'd have won titles before, you know, winning one way as you, you didn't lose and being unprecedented champions, I think is a fantastic achievement. And being the first one to do it in the Caribbean, that's something I'm sure that no one can take away from me. Anyone that do, does it now is always going to be second best. For those who don't know, there's a guy by the name of Shahrukh Khan. Bollywood. If you don't know who Shahrukh Khan is, come yeah. out from under that rock. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> Second highest paid actor in the world. Not only in India, but in the world. Right? So the biggest superstar in India, mm -hmm. Bollywood, as I mentioned. He also the owner of the TKR team. Correct. Here in Trinidad, the owner of the Calcutta Knight Riders team in India. He's on a plane on his way to Trinidad at the moment. For the opening match So he's going to be here. I was here in 1998, that's about 20 years ago, and I had a great experience. I remember we performed at the Savannah, and uh, it was raining a bit, but everybody was in such high spirits and happy. And, uh, you know, when uh, uh, Mr. Venki Mysore, our boss, uh, said, you know, we have an opportunity to uh, be a part of Trinbago Night Riders or Trinbago's team here uh, three years ago, uh, I was really thrilled because uh, even though I've had a fly in, fly out kind of experience of uh, Trinidad and Tobago, I, I just feel a certain kind of attachment and love for it and uh, this is the honest truth. So whenever I watch the team um, on, the, on the television back home, which is at 5.30 a.m., you have to keep awake or finish work and be there. Uh, I, I just love the idea of the music, the way people dance here and are so happy. You know, it's a little more than a sport. It's uh, coming out as a community and enjoying yourself and uh, cricket has such a great legacy uh, in West Indies. When uh, Knight Riders take over, take over the team, it went to a different level because uh, there were no off-the-field pressure from the owners. They allow myself and the coach Simon Helmut at that time to, to, to run the team, pick the team, design the team how we want it. And then we won the title, Simon left and Simon cut it, replaced him. And it, it was just a continuation of a strong bunch of guys who were happy for each other, who were hungry for success and just want to be the best CPL team in history. Playing cricket where you're comfortable um, always makes a difference. Playing for TKR is more comfortable because being home, the atmosphere, your family around, playing with guys you grew up with um, played, had a big impact. And it was just a good, good vibe, a good atmosphere playing for TKR. It's very rare you will go into franchises and you will see you know, each and every single member of the entire team you know, get along nicely together. Um, obviously, all of our local guys are from Trinidad, which clearly helps. Um, but then on the other side of that, it's so warming to overseas players and, and they, they bring them in and treat them as if they're part of the family. It's like a home away from home, to be honest, and uh, I just feel so welcome here that I can just be myself, express myself, express my feelings, whatever. And We know how passionate the fans are in Trinidad and Tobago about their team, um, about the Knight Riders brand, about everything. What I think a lot of other owners have learned um, from Venki and, and obviously his team uh, is how to, to manage a franchise uh, because it's not that easy to, to do. I think everyone thinks you just turn up, you put 11 players on the pitch and everyone's happy. But there's a lot that goes into it. So actually it sort of raised the, the bar for other teams which has been good to see. A lot of it has to do with the kind of environment we built in TKR. Um, I've seen other franchises there as well and the rest of the world. It doesn't happen automatically. It's not an accident. It has to be planned. Look at the fans. They support us as Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, we are TKR, but they support us as it's a country team, not a franchise. Because if we lose, it's, it's like Trinidad loser games. Being a TKR support, I support very, very hard in every game. I have all my people there supporting me. 15,000 people there, they shout and support just as I do. So many people support TKR. It's, it's like 
they love cricket so much and, and the country of course so you can't describe the feeling. You feel like you're playing when TKR is playing. That's how much they bring the crowd into the game. 2017-2018, collectively, it's out of a fairy tale uh, story. To come back and do it now under the banner of Trinbago Night Riders was something really special. It was a first, first final at, at, at that ground. That was brilliant. We fast forward now to 2018, even more pressure to want to do it for a brand new trophy, to want to make it three times. We have a title to defend, and that's the most important thing. And it starts from today. I think after the last season in St. Lucia, um, obviously there was talk about retentions and whatever. You know, I had a conversation with DJ, and you know, obviously it's no secret our friendship. He said, you know what, what's your plans? And I, I just threw the question straight back at him, what's your plans? And you know, from there it started, and obviously conversations took place. Um, that the management to deal with in, in whatever aspect, and here I am sitting in front of you now, being a TKR player. serious, 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 serious competition. Look, anger. <laughs> <laughs> News coming in that TKR captain DJ Bravo has been ruled out of CPL 2019 after breaking a finger at training. From the time he did the scan and we got the, the results, we knew he was going to be out you know, for the entire tournament with the, with the surgery that he had to do. So again, it's a big blow for us. Um, he was looking forward to you know captaining this team, you know, bringing a couple of us local stars you know, back into the fold. Even though I, I was out but due to injury, I still felt that, you know, we have a very good squad and uh, we have a good replacement in leadership where Pollard is concerned and you know he has a natural leadership skills. You know right through the season I keep telling him boss I came here to play cricket, I came here to enjoy myself, just enjoy the atmosphere, you know get that opportunity. Now I'm interested into this leadership role. We say that prayer here for TKR. We hope that this rain go away this afternoon and TKR can get an opportunity to win this game and qualify for the finals. Bingo goes up. Raymond Reefa strikes. And it's a big wicket of Siku Game Persano. It's gone high, but it's not gone anywhere. Could this be the end? Could this be the end? It is the end. Alex Hales takes the catch. And number three is the figure. Third time that the Tridents have beaten TKR this season. And it's going to be the third time they get into the finals of the Hero CPL. We felt that hurt in the dressing room when we lost that game to Barbados. Everybody in that team, right from the senior players to the junior players, the support staff, and everybody, they were hurting and you could see that. They're very disappointed. Um, as you rightly said, in the first half of the tournament, we played pretty well. In the back end, I didn't think we, bat we batted as, as brilliantly or as confidently as we can as individuals. And there wasn't a whole lot required other than just to remind ourselves that we are no longer champions and we need to go and get what, what was ours previously. And when I turned up here this time round, you could tell instantly how hungry these uh, the guys are. It's been a very long time away for cricket for most of the guys, in fact all of the guys. They all accept that this is the new normal, as we've said. Um, 
and I've seen the, the professionals that they are come out and they all accept what we have to do and they are doing it. It was tough in the start, the first seven days of quarantine because we were, we were not in quarantine before, it was our first experience in the bubble. But then uh, after that we got to go to practice and then once we started playing, the tournament started so it was, it was like normal. Try it, winning game by game, every game we won was like, it's getting closer and closer and closer but we were confident that once we reach there, we are going to do it. Well, um, I see TKR as, as, as Goliath. They are the Goliath of this tournament. But like I said to my men, don't you forget David defeated Goliath. How long ago was that? Uh, that was a long time oh, ago. But that's, that's the confidence we have in the team. Everybody know before we left, we said whoever has to win this tournament has to go through TKR. That's what's left to do. The final of Hero CBL 2020, three-time champions, the Trinbago Knight Riders, and first-time finalists, the St. Lucia Zooks. Oh, that's a killer there, a killer blow! Middle pole out of the ground, the rack attack. Oh, that is so Andre Fletcher. Yeah, Valter could sense it. Got a hundred up in style. Picked up, doesn't have the distance, the man settles on another wicket for Pollard. Missed up for Zooks. 154 would feel that they're short of what could have been achieved. Four runs. Masterful. We pride ourselves on being the best team in the Caribbean and, and we did it with a whole lot of personality um, and a whole lot of professionalism. Being champions without losing that game is definitely unprecedented. I don't think it ever happened before and I doubt it very much that it's going to ever happen again. Making we are 12 out of the Hero CPL 2020 pandemic year. <laughs> DKR dominated all. Special, special feeling to win the tournament without losing a game. So as much as you'd have won titles before, you know, winning one way as you didn't lose and being unprecedented champions, I think is a fantastic achievement. And being the first one to do it in the Caribbean, that's something I'm sure that no one can take away from me. Anyone that do it, does it now is always going to be second best. We're going to miss him a lot. You know, there's no secret about that and we don't want to hide from the fact and the reality. But I said, in everything life goes on. So just wish us all the best. We wish ourselves all the best. And hopefully we can be retaining champions at the end of CPL 2021.